In this video, I'm going to be one of the show you one of the best short yardage passing concepts in Madden 23. Really effective for breaking down zone coverage, and it's really simple. It's only going to require one hot route. You don't need a hot route master to run this play, and this is found in the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. You can find this in other playbooks as well, but I've been really enjoying Detroit because it blends together a lot of my ebooks that I've released over the course of this year. It has trips, it has bunch, it has tight, it has bunch, uh, tight end. It also has some really interesting other formations like the five wide or the doubles or doubles weak. So a lot of good formations in Detroit. That being said, today we're going to be focusing on dig return. I really like this play for short yardage or just little kind of wrinkle plays that you can use to really throw the defense off. Um, especially if they're starting to play a lot of double Mabel or a lot of zone. This is a great little play. This can also beat man coverage, but it is really specifically designed to be able to attack zone uh, really, really well. So the play is dig return. If you want to learn more about the bunch offense, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10. You get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. As of today, we have 18 offensive and defensive ebooks available, and we're going to be releasing a brand new defense this week that I'm actually really excited about, um, and we'll talk more about that in the future videos. But uh, make sure you're in the Patreon. You get everything for 10 bucks. I think it's a great deal. Um, so if you want to sign up, the link's in the description. Let's get into dig return here and break this down. So so this is only going to require one hot route for you. All you have to do is put this receiver on the left side on a smoke screen. Your first read is to this quick flat. If you can throw this flat, throw it. Um, dig return, not every flat is created equal in bunch. Uh, and if you look at this dig return flat route, it runs it really, really, he runs it really, really fast. So they have to play hard flats to be able to defend it. Let me give you an example. I'm going to jump into cover three. Um, you'll see it a little bit more in this example. But you'll see how these purples, they just don't really play it instantly. So I can throw that and get a couple quick yards. If you're a good bunch player, you want to be taking your flats whenever possible. So, you know, that's where we're going to start with this play. If you can throw this out here, throw it and take your quick yards. Now, what's going to happen is they're going to have to, um, they're going to, even if they don't play hard flats, they're going to have to have some kind of flat protection, right? And what that's going to do is it's going to leave this little whip route open right in that little pocket. And it's really hard to put a zone there that's going to be effective, especially with everything else we can do from bunch. We can attack them, um, you know, with the quarter route game. We can attack with the wheels. We can, there's a lot of things we can do with this formation, right? So this little play right here is such a natty little kind of pesty play that is going to frustrate your opponent because they're going to be trying to stop everything else you can do from bunch and then you're going to hit them with this little, you know, whip route that is super, super hard to defend. Super hard to defend right in that little pocket, as you can see. Now, um, what this is going to require is they're going to have to play, um, you know, some kind of shaded down cover two. So if they play shaded underneath cover two, um, if you watch here, this, this whip route will get defended. But now we've got this high low on the left side as a really good and valuable check down. So this high-low on the left side, I think is super underrated in this concept because this in route is pretty good against man coverage and it also is going to perfectly space your routes to where it's hard for these deep blues to defend them. Um, if you take a look here, I'll show you, I'll jump into a cover three and we're actually going to run a hard flat at cover three and we'll show you the shaded down uh, yellow zones as well with this. But what you'll see with this is you see the whip route take away. That outside third does not play the in route. Now, I'm going to show you what happens if I put him on even a hot route master's uh, little sharp cutting post route or any kind of crossing route. This third is going to play it um, because it's a little bit more vertical. So you'll see right here, if I try to throw that, I'm throwing that right into a defender where it's probably going to be intercepted. But because it's a 10 yard in route, um, that's not considered a deep enough route for this outside third to be able to defend. So we basically perfectly space the underneath pieces of this defense. And you see here, I can freeform that down and outside, and that outside third does not play the ball. So this is what makes this so effective um, against, against man coverage, in my opinion, or against zone, uh, zone coverage, in my opinion. Now, um, the rest of this piece here, we're going to show you some man. So if they do want to play man coverage on you with this play, 
Um, if you take a look here, this in route is really, really good. Um, it's just pretty simple, but it is very effective. So please don't sleep on the fact that your in route is a great read against man to man. And then the last read, and we're actually seeing a, a significant increase in this kind of coverage where they're not pressing. If they don't press this whip route, you're going to see here that it will roast man coverage as well. Now, if they do press this whip route, EA did patch this and made it a little bit more effective against man. So um, we'll show you that real quick here. You'll take a look here at this whip route. You see here that he'll, he'll get a little, little bit of more leverage. He doesn't get as deep, unfortunately, but if you have short and elite, I will say this is pretty good. Another thing you can do is if you know it's man coverage, you could check into another play, or you could just motion snap him a step or two. Now he's unbumpable, and his route will get open just like that, okay? So, you know, honestly, against press man, this is not the best call, but... If they're playing off coverage band, this is one of the best man beaters in the game because this little whip route is so effective. It's one of the few routes that really roasts. Look at how just he cooked that off coverage. So if they're not pressing you, this could be a really good man beater for you. If they are pressing you, then what I would recommend you do, um, you know, if, if you really want to run this play against man to man and they are going to press you, uh, go ahead and C route that solo receiver as your only hot route. So you get the ball out quick to your tight end. There's going to be that natural pick just right there that we showed you. Um, and then also your C route is always something that you can kind of rely upon in this formation against man to man. So you see here, we're just going to high ball up and outside and we get that nice little catch against man coverage. Day return all in all is a very versatile passing concept. Only requires one hot route to make it effective and is able to attack um, a lot of the overcompensating defenses that you're going to see whenever you're a bunch player. It's one of the perfect mix and plays in this formation. Now, if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks, and you'll get access to all of our ebooks as well over there, including any new ebooks that we release. And as we said, we've got another ebook we're going to be dropping this week for you guys in the Patreon. So make sure you're in there. Like I said, only 10 bucks gets access to everything. If you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.